if you go to the TensorFlow repo and you drill down into the micro speech example, you can see that we've had uh, support for the Spark on Edge board and Apollo 3 microcontrollers for quite some time. And what I'll be demonstrating in this example is this same kind of yes, no identification, but it'll be running on the SparkFun Artemis dev kit board. So that will be happening over here. And right here I have my compiled binary and I'm gonna drag and drop it into my Artemis board. See the programming occur here. And then the output will be right here. And it's probably going to recognize unknown speech until I start saying yes, no, no, yes. So this is just one of the three machine learning demos that are supported on the Artemis board by the sensors that are on board. So we've got the microphone, which allows you to do this demo with micro speech. And we've got the accelerometer, which Kirk mentioned is good for the uh, magic wand demo or the gesture recognition. And then finally, we've got a camera as well. And that's the other, well, I wanted to demonstrate these two sensors as well. So we have a binary that was built using the SDK. And I can just drag and drop that onto the Artemis. And you can see we've got my different acceleration values. And we've also got the temperature. I'm going to put my thumb on the temperature sensor and we can watch in that final column you just watch the temperature rise this is not doing any detection or recognition classification using machine learning it's just a raw stream of data but it's to demonstrate the onboard hardware that you get and then finally <clears throat> we'll do the camera example as well and we can take a picture so you'll see it starts with a um, auto calibration. And I'm going to save this as capture one. And hopefully we'll get a picture of me here doing a thumbs up. <laughs> there, so it's taken the image and now it has to stream the data out over the serial port, which takes a minute because it's a fairly large image with an eight bit uh, grayscale depth. So what we're doing is basically streaming this to this capture file, and then we're going to run this raw to bmp.py Python script, which will convert it to an image that we can see live. And now let me stop the connection. Let's go to the terminal here and convert capture1.txt. Ah. Hey. Oh. <laughs> so there we are, my live uh, Looking cool. From that camera, you can see it's not a particularly high resolution, but that's what you want for machine learning because having any more information than that would just cause it to take longer to do a conversion. 